Right, right, so, um, I was on my way between two places and I happened to spot that interesting blue thing over there and decided I would go over and take a look and see what it is. Now there's one thing inside of that blue thing which I think might might be like a planetary nebula or something like that. Basically it's where there was a star that collapsed down into a black hole and that's all the gas that's come off of it before it's caused just like crunch down or whatever. Um, and yeah so I think it's a planetary nebula. Um, which I didn't think there was in the game but that basically means I'm going to be jumping directly to a black hole when I go there but I thought you know it looks interesting let's take a detour so let's see how it goes I'm obviously not going to get there in one ju jump but I thought I would show you just that's where it is there so right let's jump to the next station here I don't think we've got too far to go before we actually get to the thing itself but it's the, it's interesting to see the approach because that's where we'll get to actually see what it really looks like once we're inside of it it will be difficult to see if you know what I mean like you can't see the nebula for the gas FSS scan this place as is all new stuff I'm discovering which is nice I'm the first person to actually discover these things Oh, well, that's interesting. Somebody discovered the fifth planet in this system before, but not the entire system. I guess some people aren't that thorough. That's a bit weird. <laughs> They'll scan the fifth planet, but they don't discover its moons. also been discovered. Very interesting. This is in the Elysian shore. So, whoops. Oh, come on. Uh, 
zoomed out when I didn't mean to. Oh, carbon dioxide geysers. I might actually uh, stop the video for a little while so that I can go and check out these uh, geological things in case I haven't. So I've still got a few things to tick off from the codex in the Elysian Shore. Somewhere on the I get a carbon dioxide geyser. Right, so I'll just I'll just pause this for now. Okay, back back to it. Uh the little blue fuzzy thing that I think is a planetary nebula oh that's a beautiful view of it oh yeah that's what I was hoping for system scan complete oh yeah Just uh, take a look from the outside. Oops. <laughs> uh, we want free camera. And if we can hide this. And there we go. Here's my ship. Oh, nice, isn't it? Let's just take a photograph. <laughs> right. Um, okay. So now we are going to jump into it, aren't we? Oh, did we did we uh, honk this system yet? Can't remember. Yes, yes, we did. That's right, we did. Right. Uh, let's jump. Frameship drive charging. <laughs> this is a black hole. I hope this doesn't go horribly, horribly wrong. I've got quite a long way in a very, very, very long journey, so I really hope this doesn't go horribly wrong. Ready to Jumping to a black hole. That's something I thought I'd never do. I can't see it. I don't like that. I can't see it. <laughs> I think I'm not. Not is that. That's it up there, isn't it? That's that black thing. Is that the actual black hole, or not? I don't know. Um. I don't think there's anything else here, is there? No, there isn't. Wow. It's nice, though. It's like this blue thing, but you can still see the heart and soul nebulas through it, which is very pretty. I'm glad I came here after all. Yeah. There's the... Oh, that's where the actual black hole is, apparently. I don't get to see the lensing effect. But you sort of see 
see the lensing effect because you see those stars that look like they're moving around when really they aren't. Uh, right, well, I'll uh, replot to head back off towards the uh, her big AEBE star that I was actually heading towards. But this is this is really very pretty, especially with those those that field of uh, bright stars there. It's like a that is cool. That's very pretty. Take a photograph of that as well. Right, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now. So, just having a little explore here on this planet, and thought I would be like, check out the bisexual lighting on this planet. I mean, not exactly vapour wave because there aren't any Grecian statues around, but there's actual vapour. How's about that then? Hey, eh? hey. Eh?